Now, I always like to build a house where I have some shelter, especially if I've got some shelter leaning up against it. And we can actually save on materials if we build it right up against something. So, I think if I can safely get over here, I'm going to build the house right up against this rock, just for starters. Now, we will be expanding this a lot. We'll probably find a nice... Uh, cave nearby, but, uh, you know, for now we just want to get something to give us shelter for the night, because it's going to be nighttime pretty soon. So I like how this spot's looking right here. I'm going to see if I can find some place right up against this rock. I know we have a little bit of water, but that's okay. The foundations will uh, keep us up out of the water. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this foundation on my hot bar right here. And while I'm at it, since I'm kind of low on food, I'll go ahead and eat some of these berries. So I'm going to use those on the hot bar to eat them, and you can eat them really fast. I'm also going to hit triangle, which is going to let me drink the water that I'm standing in. So we will not be running out of water anytime soon. So I went ahead and selected this foundation, and as you can see, I'm moving back and forth a little bit. And it looks like we are in good shape. It's not causing any problems. The green area means you can place that foundation there. And I'm going to move this right along the rock, see if I can find one that's got some space above it. I think that'll be a good space right there. I have most of the default settings set right now on this map, but I did go ahead and disable object collision, which means I can make things clip into the stone. So once I have this where I want it, I'll move it around a bit. And then I'm going to hit the square button to place it. And you can see those circles there will allow me to rotate that. I actually like where it is right now, so, but I can move back and forth while it's in place and see the other sides of it. So I'm going to hit square again, and we just placed our first foundation. I'm going to select the foundation again. You see I have two of them. And it's actually going to snap from that spot to the other sides. And I think that'll be a good spot right there. So I'll place that side. Now we need some walls. And I have those ready to go. So I'll place the wall here. I can use triangle to make that wall snap so it's facing in, but I like it facing out. So we'll go ahead and put that there. Put a wall here. A wall here. And we're actually going to be able to save some walls because the rock is making a wall for us. So, I'm going to make a door frame. And it looks like we're going to need some more fiber for that. So, let's see if we can grab some of that. Now, if I'm really lucky, that stone that I dropped earlier will still be there. It takes a second to despawn, so I'm just going to go check on that. I might have enough weight that I've reduced to be able to pick up that stone. Just going to see. And I know that there's a lot of plants I can grab on the way there, too. I think it was right around here, and it is probably despawned by now. But that's fine. We have plenty of rocks and other resources around here. We'll just gather it when we have some more weight. Okay. Those over raptors freak me out. They sound a lot like raptors, but, uh, you know, they won't kill you, unlike other raptors. They're really helpful if you want to hatch eggs, but uh, for now we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so we got enough fiber for a door frame and a door. Now that those are done crafting, we can move properly again. I think I'm going to go ahead and kill this guy. If I can keep up with him. He run really fast. Oh, missed. It was worth a shot. So we used up a spear. The uh, left trigger will actually throw the spear. But, uh, you know, it was worth a try. There's plenty more materials for him. Okay, so let's get that door. Is our 
first priority right now is making sure that we, uh, first of all, don't starve to death, which I think we have enough berries for now. There we go. And we also want to get shelter, because it's going to be night soon. So now we have our little hut. It's got kind of a roof, but we want to get a decent roof here. So, I'm going to go ahead and place the roof on. And there we have it. We have a tiny little house. So the next order of business, we need to get some better food, because berries can only keep you happy for so long. You can move a pattern for something, an engram, onto your hotbar. And if you hold down that, that action, you can actually see what the materials are. So I did that while we're gathering stuff so we can find out when we have enough. You'll notice that in my action bar it's grayed out right now. And that's because I do not have the materials for it. But once we have the materials, it's going to actually go to uh, where it'll light up for us. So the one thing I'm missing right now is stone, and rather than going after the big rocks, I'm going to go after the small ones. And uh, using my hatchet is much more efficient for uh, getting stone. Okay, and now we have enough for that. So I'm going to go ahead and craft it. Great. I'm going to put this inside because dinosaurs will actually attack these. And I'll put it just inside the door. It's not the end of the world if something breaks this. Now I can hit triangle to access the inventory, or square will also do that. And I'm going to put these logs into the fire right now. We can light it up when we have some meat to cook things, but uh, I'm actually going to use it right now to store some of my heavy stuff. So wood is one of the heavier things you can get. And I went ahead and put the wood in there. And it will also burn thatch, so I can drop some thatch in too. And you'll see my weight is much better now. If I want to check my engrams, I can hit the Options button on the PS4 controller. And this will show me how many points I have and how many I need for the other engrams. I really need to make some storage boxes so I can fix my weight problem. So I'm going to go ahead and gather some more materials. Oh no, did I build that too close? <laughs> oh gosh. So I can't get out my door. That was a little too close to the door. That's embarrassing. So I'm going to go ahead and take out everything and hold down triangle. And you can see I have this demolish option. If I hold right, it's going to open that up and I can demolish the campfire. And now I can actually get out of the door. We'll place that a little more carefully next time. Let's see if we can make another one. Yep. So, lesson learned, right? We already have it in our hot bar. So I'm going to place it a little further from the door this time. I'm not used to such a cramped living space, huh? And there we go. I'll also notice I'm getting cold. It is going to get colder as the sun gets lower. So that's how we know nighttime is coming pretty soon. I'm going to gather some more wood so that I can keep that fire going more. It's also going to get me some experience. I'll be real careful not to accidentally attack that Triceratops because it'll kill me and smash my house. Not something I really want to do for either of those. And I'm keeping an eye on my weight because wood will get me overweight pretty quickly. The other thing about gathering wood right now is wood and thatch are the only two things that I can store in my fireplace. We'll be using it a lot. And so it's a good thing to gather up while I'm getting experience. Another thing you'll notice, I get cold when I go in the water. The water is much colder, so if you're ever hot, you can jump in the water and it'll cool you down. And if it gets to be about nighttime, you want to stay out of the water, otherwise you can get really cold. Okay. Good 
back over to our base and drop this off. So on the right hand side, little icons above the weight limit is a triangle and that is actually our experience bar. The closer that gets to the top, the closer we are to leveling up. And you can see my campfire is getting pretty full, the sun is getting pretty low. It would be great if I could get some food right about now. I'm going to see if I can find something that'll give me some meat. Not seeing a lot right now, but there's got to be something on this beach we can eat. We have some berries, but they won't sustain us too long, and I want to get some stuff cooking on there before the sun goes down. I also don't want to venture too far from my house, because uh, there's plenty of stuff out here that will kill me like that, I think, is an actual raptor. And we want to stay away from raptors right now. So I'm going to check the other side, see if it's a little safer. Okay, you can see I finally run out of stamina. That's one nice thing about building up so much stamina we've been doing. Oh, that noise was a dodo bird. I'm going to see if I can find him. Dodos are the best way to get meat right off the bat. If I can find out where that noise is coming from. Okay, we got a turtle. He's level 15. I think I can take him. Now you can see on the bottom my health bar is going down as I'm fighting him. Okay, he turns out to be a little nastier than I thought. We'll see if I die from turtle fighting. Okay. So I'm going to be in a slow speed chase as I run away from this turtle. I have enough spears, so I'm going to try to just throw one at him. Yeah, turtles are really persistent. Another thing to keep in mind, if a turtle runs into a friend, the other turtle will come and help him. So we could quickly be in serious trouble. And we're now out of spears, getting attacked by a turtle. We are quite injured, and it is just about nighttime. So, you can see how quickly things can turn for the worse. I think the turtle's still coming. They can be really sneaky like that. But I do see a dodo, and I'm going for it. Roast turkey. I'm going to use the pickaxe, which just broke, so I'm going to use the hatchet, which also just broke. Great. So now, I have... I am starving. I just about dehydrated. And uh, it's night time. So, good time to turn in, I think, right? Just gonna double check, make sure that turtle's not coming to kill me. Okay, so, I'm gonna eat some berries. Get it to where I'm not completely starving. And let's get this fire going, huh? We only managed to get eight meat out of that dodo, but that's all right. Now we got some meat cooking on the fire. I can put the torch out because the fire is going to keep things lit in here. And hopefully we won't get attacked by anything. But just in case, I need to make some more spears. See if we got anything for them. Okay. have everything but wood, which we actually have in the fire. I'm going to keep a little bit of wood in there. Now if I want to eat this without actually putting it in my hot bar, I'm just going to click the right trigger. That's going to eat that meat, and you'll notice my food gauge on the far side is going up quite a bit. 
Meat gives you way more food. Uh, berries give you just enough to stay alive, but meat will give you a lot of food. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make four more spears. Now another thing, you'll notice my uh, pickaxe and hatchet are both broken here. If I hit the button and hold it down that I use to actually pull out that, that pickaxe, you'll see the stones, thatch, and wood that I need to repair it. If I tap the button, it's going to start repairing that item. And as you can see, we now have a repaired pickaxe. I'm going to go ahead and repair that hatchet too, so we'll have some stuff for gathering. So, I like to stay inside the house as much as possible because at night predators come out and they get crazy. A lot of times you'll open your door and there's a velociraptor just standing there waiting to eat you. So, great if you can stay inside. I'm going to check on my food and we still have a little bit of meat going. If I hold down the uh, X button, it's going to pull out whatever meat is there. You can also use that for transferring items into a slot. You just hold it down and it'll drop it into the fire, or hold it down and it'll pull it out. You can also double tap to pull out one, or put back one. And you can see my meat gauge is about halfway full. I'll go ahead and eat the rest of these berries so they're not just taking up space in my inventory. I hold down the trigger, it's going to eat everything there. Okay, we're just about done cooking all the meat. Now, I really need to store some stuff. That's going to be a real important thing right now, because I'm going to stay overweight until I can start offloading some of this. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my menu, and you can see I have all these different stats right here. I'll take a second to explain these, because we are, you know, stuck inside until it's daylight. It's a real good idea for us to stay in here. So the stats that I can increase is health, which gives me more health, makes it so I can take more hits from dinosaurs and such. Even if I get a lot of health, it won't keep me alive from a lot of these predators, so I'm not going to worry about that yet. Stamina is going to allow me to do more actions and run for longer, which is really helpful right off the bat. Oxygen is only helpful underwater. It lets you hold your breath for longer. I'm not going to need to worry about that for probably a while, because most of the time if I get in the water, a shark is going to come kill me immediately, and that's just not fun for anybody. Food makes it so you can uh, have more food, but I usually keep a pretty good supply of food, so I don't have to worry about that. And then water is the same thing. You know, As long as you have a good water supply, you're probably going to be okay. Weight is really helpful to have enough weight to move around, and uh, being able to carry more is going to let me make less trips back and forth. So I'll go ahead and put one more point into weight. You can see down here we have melee damage right below weight, and that increases the amount of damage that I do when I'm either fighting with a spear, guns, anything later on. It also increases the amount that I harvest when I harvest things. I'm probably going to start putting some points into that pretty soon. Movement speed is also really helpful because it actually makes you move faster everywhere you go. You get from place to place faster, saving time, letting you do stuff more quickly. Crafting skill actually can increase the uh, outcome of items. So if I had a really high crafting skill when I craft a shirt, it might be a higher quality shirt with better armor. Which is great and all, but I'm not going to worry about that right off the bat. And then Fortitude makes it so I get hot and cold less easily, which is great if I'm in a cold climate, but uh, I'm in the tropics right now. It's perfect out. It's paradise. I'm not going to worry about that at all. So I'm going to hit the Options button to pull out my engrams, and we'll see what we're going to learn next. So I have 10 engrams, and I will use six of them to grab that storage box, because we are desperate for storage space right now. And we have enough for them. Another great thing about storage boxes is they will be helpful for the rest of the game, and they're a great way to get experience. So if I just need to craft stuff to get EXP, that's a great thing for me to craft more of. But right now, I desperately need storage, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab the ones that I just made and drop them down and start putting stuff in them. 
see if I can get this partially into the wall there, give me a little more space in my house. Great. Square can access it, and I'm just going to start dropping everything in. I think I'll keep some flint and fiber. I don't need any of this junk. This is all stuff you get from achievements, and it gives it to you when you spawn. It's all vanity items. Not super helpful right now. I'll be using stem berries and narco berries later, and metal is much later, but it's really helpful. Uh, these seeds weigh practically nothing, so I'm not even going to worry about them. And uh, I'm going to drop this wall for when I actually want that later. And I'll go ahead and drop this hide too. So I'm going to keep just this stuff so I can make some more spears. And let's put one more storage box next to that and let it clip in a little bit. Great. And with the hay, I'll drop the seeds in because, uh, you know, they're not really good for anything right now. And I'll save the berries for taming later. So now I've got just the basics and I can craft some more spears. So let's see. Ah, perfect. It is now daytime. Dawn's just coming out. Predators should stop killing us quite as much. So I'll put out the fire and it is the beginning of a beautiful new day.